Like, I want to start by telling you a story. It's not from this campus. It's from a, another campus, Vanderbilt University in Tennessee. Just a couple of days ago, uh, on Monday, 200 students decided that they'd had it with the administration. They decided they were going to protest the administration. Uh, they, they were upset about the microaggressions of the administration. They didn't cite any particular incidents. They couldn't explain what the administration had done that was dramatically wrong. So they went and they protested. They demanded diversity classes and a more diverse university, you know, all the usual list of demands that have more to do with racism of skin color than they do with actual diversity of thought. Well, the next day after all this happened, a bag of poop showed up at the front door of the Bishop Joseph Johnson Black Cultural Center. And the end of the world ensued, as it's likely to do these days. And the student activist group rushed to Facebook, and they announced the, what they called the Vile Act. And they said, quote, the violation of a place that in many ways is the sole home for many black students is deplorable. As many of us sit in grief, recognize that these types of actions are what we speak of when we note the reality of exclusion and isolation of students of color, and specifically black students, on our campus. The police investigated, and they didn't end up, finding it, they didn't end up prosecuting anyone. So clear instance of systemic racism, right? Well. Not so much. Turns out the bag of dog dew was put there by a blind girl. The blind girl had been walking her dog. She picked up do dog dew in the bag, and she couldn't locate the nearest trash can. So she did what she had been instructed to do, which is you leave it outside of a building so that the next civilized person who walks out takes it and throws it in the garbage. So pretty quickly, th this happened just this week, pretty quickly, the student group had to come out with an apology. They ended up deleting the post and apologizing. And then this is just the best part, because the left never sleeps. They issued a statement about how the needs of students with disabilities on the campus were also marginalized. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's too wonderful. The, the, victim is, the victimology of the left just never ends. It, it starts and it never stops. 